Hey everybody, Nico the Legend here, also known as a one mannered teenager in the snowflake. And this video is going to be what I like to call simple and lazy. That's why you don't see me and that's why you don't see a news article. Because this has been kind of, this is just a me thing. There's really no articles to go off of besides, hey, Legendary Edition is here. We're super excited that it's coming out. And we have a lot of, you know, concerns that we're going in with blind optimism or we're cautiously optimistic, right? We all want Mass Effect to succeed in the end. As do I, for sure, definitely. Despite all the stuff you heard before, or, you know, mixed feelings and all that jazz. Trust me, I want this to be great. Now, there's one thing that I have not heard people talking about this. And this is such a small thing. And and when it when they got rid of it, eventually, when, when you play the second and third game, I was kind of sad. I was kind of sad because I liked how it added more to the lore of the Mass Effect franchise. It was a kind of a neat side traction thing that you, well, uh, let's just say, load up before you actually start playing the game. It was like, what is Nico even going on about? And when I tell you what it is, you guys are gonna be like, really? Are you serious? But this is just my one thing that I hope that they actually put back in and keep it relevant for a very long time. And they put it in, uh, it wasn't in Andromeda, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong, fellas. Uh, but I kind of hope they do bring that back. And um, this is a good way, a good opportunity to bring it back. Now, what on earth am I talking about? Where in the Milky Way does this, what, what? The Cerberus Network or the Alliance News Network? Yes, okay. Does anybody know what I'm talking about still? Maybe, if you're diehard Mass Effect fans or you've been paying attention, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So let me just recap real quick. Uh, blast from the past a little bit. So when Mass Effect 2 came out, there was this thing called Cerberus Network, right? Uh, so Mass Effect 2, Cerberus put you back together and you worked for them for a while under the elusive man's tutelage or guidance, whatever, however way you want to put it, right? Um, and there was this thing called the Cerberus Network, which was when you loaded up your game, actually loaded up just the game itself, you know, Mass Effect 2 product, and you get to the main menu, you see like a little computer at the menu screen and it displays information. Now usually, nowadays the information would display DLC information and stuff like that, like uh, stuff you can download. But before, when Mass Effect 2 was in its infancy or just a little baby uh, when, it, when it was released into the wild, uh, they would have this thing called the Cerberus Network and you would it would display news that's been going on around the galaxy and stuff. And I thought that was really cool. It was kind of a neat thing to to look at before you jump back into the shoes of Shepard. And it was and it looked like it was at like a little desk. Like Shepard was like, you know, drinking his coffee and everything and just looking up the news and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. I like things like that that add more context to what's going on and I like the side stories. I understand that if we didn't have the Cerberus Network or stuff, something like that, then you just get emails or you just go around the game and you would hear certain things. But I kind of just like reading that type of text and stuff. I thought it was really cool, a little neat thing. You see, now we're like, oh, I kind of know what he's talking about now, but why would they put that back in? That's a good question, why would they? This is just something I wish they would. Now, Mass Effect 3 also has something like that, but it wasn't Cerberus. I think it was just an Alliance News Network. Um, same thing. You, load, uh, you pop in Mass Effect 3, you get to the main menu, and you see the computer screen to the side, and it would display news uh, articles and stuff. And I thought that was cool. I think Bioware, maybe, maybe this is just kind of like a bells and whistles type of thing, but like I said, I liked how it was in Mass Effect 2. I liked how that new stuff was in Mass Effect 3, because I like to be more in tune with the game's universe as much as possible. I like to be a part of it, and I definitely, me personally, I love reading. And I like to see that in Mass Effect fashion. I like to read what Mass Effect has to offer. I, I want to read what kind of journalism there is, or journalists out there, for the Mass Effect franchise. So it's, you know, like I said, it's world building. In this case, galaxy building. <laughs> now, uh, if they brought that back, that would be awesome. Because they could keep it more relevant than ever. Especially when you have Mass Effect 4 eventually coming out. They could maybe... I don't know, have it go on for so long, maybe they won't at all. And then they could put in Mass Effect 1. I don't think Mass Effect 1's menu is going to be the same as it used to be. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be. Um, but if they have something like that, 
maybe not at the main menu for these games anymore. Maybe in the game you can go to your computer and just read news articles or something like that. Maybe we'll get the Cerberus Network or the Alliance News Network like that. Maybe. Now, if it's actually still in the game and I've been wrong this entire time, I do apologize, but I'm pretty sure this is stuff that you read at the main menu in Mass Effect 2 and 3. So, what do you guys think about that? <laughs> this is just my one little bells and whistles, kind of like a... Uh, this, I don't know, just like a neat little thing that they can add back in. But we all have that with Mass Effect. What is one thing that you want back in there in your game that you kind of missed that they took out from the first two games or uh, was only in Mass Effect 1 or Mass Effect 3 or, they, you know, maybe something in the same boat like me with the Cerberus Network and Lions News Network. Maybe you guys have something equivalent to that. Uh, let me know down in the comments below and I wanted to make this as sweet simple and lazy as possible because uh, it's been kind of etching at me. And I'm going to ride that Mass Effect Legendary Milk Train all the way to the factory uh, where, um, yeah, it's kind of sad. So guys, appreciate it. Nico the Legend, also known as Will Manor Teenager, and Snowflake here. And you Pathfinders, we are all in this together to go get that Legendary Edition. Make sure it's the best thing on the Earth. I mean, Galaxy. I mean, Milky Way. I mean, oh god, I'm going to go.